My name is Irene. I'm a First Nation Soto woman. I come from the Kizikus Band in Saskatchewan. But I live here now in this beautiful Algonquin territory for 30 years. I'm honored to bring the Anishinaabe culture to the children. We don't often think about these things like the land and the water and all the animals and the plants. And it's important that we take that time to be still, to sit in a circle and to sing to those beautiful, beautiful creation that Creator gave us. Art in our culture means spirit. So every time you connect to your artistic or your creative self, you are actually connecting to spirit. Please choose whatever you would like to make and we're going to make that, okay? Hi, my name is Ksenia Tsoi and I'm a proud mask artist. I specialize in collaborative murals and uh, special workshops for kids. Uh, participating in this particular project was very meaningful for me because to me as a newcomer I'm originally from Uzbekistan and it's been only four years for me in Canada. I really enjoyed learning from grandmother Irene because she has very gentle spirit and the way she uh, connects with children was something that I actually could learn uh, from as an educator, as an arts educator. Um, I really loved uh, how uh, curious children were and particular things that they took interest in and together we learned about the land that we today are on. Through these activities we could have a beautiful chance to contemplate on what are we thankful for on this land, what we acknowledge this land for and that was to me very meaningful. Working with the artists is really good because I am the one that works with the children's spirits. I really stir them and instill in them that, that imagination. But the artist is the one that brings it to life, really, because they're going to spend time with those children and they're going to remember the teachings from today and they're really going to connect. So they might have connected with the turtle today. They might have connected with the water that was on that blanket. They might have connected to that turtle rattle. So they're going to remember those items and they're going to bring it out into creation, into the real world so that people can appreciate it. And they will never forget both of those days that they spent with spirit and actual the, doing the action with the artist and bringing it to life. Together we kind of created that space where they could ask questions, where they could uh, share their creativity. I really hope what they uh, takeaway is that their voice matters, is that their creativity matters, is they, they are bountifully creative and they can make that beauty with their own hands. I love um, all the cool shapes and things we got to, uh, to make and that we got to go find real pieces from nature and glue them on there. Our favorite part of the program was when we got to learn about the turtle and how the plants grew on its back. Um, also, it was fun to make tobacco ties with Grandmother Irene. We burn sage to cleanse our bodies and our special items, and it also removes negative um, energy. Just seeing these children and their way of connecting to things and how they connect to me. They are so welcoming. You can see the wonderment and the, the joy in their eyes and in their hearts. And, and I mean, I, that just gives me so much. I, it's, a, it's a synergy. It's an energy that goes in a circle. And so when I spend time with them, I don't forget about my, my resiliency and my childhood.